I dare to do this. What's up, little pups? For September 13, we're going to be having the Stellar Crown release day. And what's the best way to celebrate the hype for such an amazing set? Well, calling it out for what it actually is. I've already made multiple videos saying how Stellar Crown is an actual mid set. But let's compare with the other Scarlet Violet main sets and see how mid it is exactly. Alright, we have the beautiful Stellar Crown list. We have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. IRs consisting of Bulbasaur, Lydian, the Lilip, Turnator, Raboot, Squirtle, the Crabominable, the Joltik, Zeraora, Milsery, Metacham, uh, Gulpin, and Arcaludon. We have, of course, the special illustration rares consisting of six beautiful special illustration rares. Let us not forget how beautiful these special illustration rares are. All right, well, let's start with the first set, this beautiful Stellar Crown set, compared to the first one, which is, of course, Scarlet Violet Base. All right, Scarlet Violet Base, you have a total of four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 24 IRs. And how many special illustration rares? We have a total of uh, 4, 8, and 10. Oh, 10 versus 6? Oh my lord. But the Terrapago's artwork is amazing. There's no artwork that competes with it. Well, I mean, Terrapago's is a Gen 9 Pokemon. Why don't we compare it with another Gen 9 Pokemon? Like, let's say Great Tusk. Wouldn't you say that's a fantastic drawing? Of a Gen 9 Pokemon? Oh, the illustration rares. We have 13 special illustration rares. That's crazy. Well, we're actually working with 24 special illustration rares. And look how beautiful some of them are. Look at this. Are you kidding me? So, Scarlet Violet, if it wasn't for the pull rates, it'd just be a way superior uh, hyped up uh, Stellar Crown. Also, let's not forget Gardevoir. All right, Stellar Crown versus Paldea Evolved. Let us see. Paldea Evolved runs with 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 36 illustration rares to Stellar Crowns, 13. All right, Paldea Evolved, let's see how many special illustration rares you're working with. We have uh, 2, 4, which is 6, 10, 14, 15 special illustration rares. Wow, and you just gotta look at Chiyu for the uh, beautiful artwork. All right, so the crown, um, you're kind of getting cooked with numbers here, but uh, let's let's see the next set. The next set is Obsidian Flames. Oh my gosh, that's it. There, there's the guy you beat, right? Obviously, Obsidian Flames isn't as good as so the crown, right? Well, you would be right because it only has 12 illustration rares. It has the same amount of special illustration rares, so it has one less illustration rare, but. See how much the booster box is for Obsidian Flames. $114 when the only sets that beat it in price are Twilight Masquerade and Paldea Evolved. Now you might ask yourself why? Why is it so expensive? It has so little amount of cards. Then that means Silver Crown is good, right? Well, it's because of a certain big boy. Now you might say, but Charizard X, I mean Darkness Ablaze, uh, uh, literally has a Charizard X as well, uh, Charizard V uh, Hyper Rare, why would that matter? Well, the thing is, a little pup, Charizard X has multiple Charizard incarnations in this set, it has its own full art, it has the, it's, it has the, uh, the regular one, and it also has the gold, which I actually don't know if I can see it here, I can't has the gold it has three really um powerful looking charizards and uh well even though the rest of the set is mid even though it has a little bit of a tyranitar charizard is what everyone's looking for with the high pull rates it actually helps out with the set because everyone wants to open it that's why this booster box is actually one of the highest priced scarlet violet boxes and it's all because of charizard and how easy it is to pull a lot of people want to open up this set well uh uh, well, I, I mean, surely there's some other set that Stellar Crown can absolutely destroy in the long term, right? Absolutely. All right, Stellar Crown, next up we have Paradox Rift. Easy. No one cared about Paradox Rift. Everyone slept on it after immediately after it got released, right? Let's see how many uh, illustration errors it has. We have a total of 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 34... We have 34 illustration errors to Stellar Crown's 13. How many special illustration errors does it have? We have two. 
We have 8, we have 14, 15, wait, 15? I mean, Stellar Crown, brother, you don't even have the Lapras SIR, come on. Alright, the next one, this one should be really easy to beat for Stellar Crown, we have Temporal Forces. A lot of people, even in my Discord, didn't care for the Dino Dogs, right? I mean, surely Temporal Forces has nothing on Stellar Crown. Let's see, how many IRs do we have? We have a total of uh, 6... 12, 18, 22 illustration rares. All right, that's about nine more than Star Crown. And a total of 10 special illustration rares, which is four more than Star Crown. I mean, but Terrapagos is like, Terrapagos is the craziest looking artwork. Nothing here can beat it, right? You're looking at one of the most beautiful cards that Pokemon has ever made. I mean, come on. And the Raging Bolt, like, holy. I mean, that that's, like, you cannot tell me the artwork is not insane on those cards. Like, you can't just say that Silver Crown artwork is much better than these sets. These sets are crazy. You just gotta look at some of the illustration rares, my guy. For Pokemon that people don't even care about. And it has its own ghastly. Alright, Twilight Masquerade. Greninja's overrated. Like, surely it'll crash. It probably will. After uh, Surging Sparks. Not after Silver Crown. Uh, so let's see right here is Twilight Masquerade. We have a total of 6, 12, 18, and 21 illustration rares with a lovely Eevee and some beautiful cards like the Infernape. Now for the special illustration rares, we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 11 special illustration rares with one of them being the most valued card in all of Scarlet Violet. Ah, Carmine destroys uh, Breer and uh, Lacey any day. Also goes the same for Perrin. Heck, even Kieran can probably t uh, solo both of them. <laughs> but Joe, you're so stupid. We have Bulbasaur. We have a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle illustration rare. I mean, like, those are crazy. Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's not like we can get Bulbasaur and Squirtle anywhere else. Like, there's no Bulbasaur Squirtle illustration rare anywhere else. Oh, wait. All right, little pups, uh, I hope uh, I didn't destroy the hype for Solar Crown because it is, it is, uh, you know, it's a colorful set. I'm still a fan of the Lapras full art. I hate, I just feel so betrayed that it did not get an SIR. But anyways, uh, Terra Pagos is a beautiful card. It, it definitely deserves like a top five spot in special illustration rares. And, you know, Breer is not that bad looking of a full art trainer card, a special illustration rare card. And I really like the ability on this card. And the Hydrapple looks very unique. So anyways, guys. What do you guys think? Uh, blast me in the comments if you think I'm totally wrong and you think that uh, even uh, like at least the Obsidian Flames uh, take was trash. But uh, for those who do agree, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and uh, let's get on to the next news.